as with the number bonds to 10, once you know them, you can use the inverse calculation to help you work things out. For example, if you know that 9 add 11 is 20, you can work out 20 subtract 9, which is 11, and 20 subtract 11, which is 9. Here's one for you to try. If you know that 6 add 14 is 20, what's 20 subtract 6? Pause the video, have a go. If 6 and 14 is 20, 20 subtract 6 is 14. Try this one. 20 take away 14. Pause the video, have a go. If 6 and 14 is 20, then 20 take away 14 leaves you with 6. There are lots of patterns when you're doing number bonds to 20. Here's an example of what I mean. So 20 take away 6, we know that that's 14. Then below that, 20 take away 14 must be 6. And on the other side, 20 take away 4, if we know that's 16, then below that, 20 take away 16, that must be 4. There's another pattern you can see here. If you look at the 2 on the top row, 20 take away 6 and 20 take away 4, you can see a pattern here with the numbers. 20 take away 6 is 14, 20 take away 4 is 16, again with the 2 below that. 20 take away 14 and 20 take away 16. 20 take away 14 is 6, 20 take away 16 is 4. Using that information, work out these four. Pause the video, have a go. The first one, 20 take away 7. If you know that you have to add 13 to 7 to get to 20, you'll know that 20 take away 7 is 13. And that means that you'll be able to work out that 20 take away 13 is 7. On the other side, 20 take away 3, if you know you need to add 17 to 3 to get 20, you'll know that 20 take away 3 is 17. And if 20 take away 3 is 17, then 20 take away 17 is 3. Again, you may be able to see the pattern here. If 20 take away 7 is 13, 20 take away 3 is 17, and 20 take away 13 is 7, 20 take away 17 is 3.